This is Red Carpet Flies News on the Fly, bringing you daily unique and interesting entertainment, celebrity, and luxury news. Before we get started, you know what to do. Like, follow, and subscribe to Red Carpet Fly and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single News on the Fly episode. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing out there? I'm doing good and feeling good. This past weekend was the BET Awards. Artists showed up and showed out on the red carpet and at the actual award show. Did anyone see that video of Ray J eating a cup of noodles while at the award show? He know he a mess for that. Let me tell you, Ray J has been the most down-to-earth celebrity I have ever met. He's actually a really cool guy. I never met Brandy, but I get the sense that she's the same and very down-to-earth. Congrats to all the BET winners. As you guys may have heard, P. Diddy, aka Puff Daddy, aka Sean Combs, took home the Lifetime Achievement Award, Doja Cat won Video of the Year, and both Best Female R&B slash Pop Artist and Best Female Hip Hop Artist and Silk Sonic won Album of the Year. Taraji P. Henson was the host of this year's award show. And talking about Taraji, she actually made the news recently regarding her comments of moving abroad. According to Love B. Scott, the Empire actress stated, I'm really considering getting up out of here and leaving and living in another country. She says on the People Everyday podcast when asked how she's been coping with the difficult political and social climate in America. That's something that comes with 50 years. You get tired of fighting. I'm tired. As for what exhausts the star, she notes that the pressure of being black and the ongoing fight for justice and peace in America. I don't want to have to do another hashtag. I fought. I chanted. I marched. I'm tired. Henson, 51, imagines her foreign refuge to be much simpler. I want to go where there's neutral ground, she says. I just want to be and be happy. I want to be called Bella every day, drink wine, and swat flies on the porch, stress-free. I really feel her, I really do. Being black is tough no matter where you live on this planet. Black people just catch hell everywhere, and I've witnessed it. I've lived in different countries and visited a lot of different places around the world like Morocco, Brazil, and India, and no matter where I go, black people always seem to be on the bottom. I don't know who said this or where I heard this from, but anytime there's a lot of strife or a lot of turmoil, great change is about to happen. So I don't know what's about to happen, but something big's coming. And just when you thought America couldn't take another blow, we get hit with the reversal of Roe v. Wade, which a lot of celebrities have been very outspoken about, both independently and at award shows like the BET Awards. Woo, honey, we all need a break. The world should just collectively go on a holiday for like two weeks. I know that's wishful thinking, but it would be cool if we could do that, right? Brad Pitt is contemplating the end of his movie career. Dang, everybody just want to give up. I guess after the past few years we had, I understand. Well, according to the AV Club, in a GQ article, Brad Pitt admits that he's been contemplating the last stages of his movie career. In the article, he states, I consider myself on my last leg. Don't worry, all you Brad Pitt lovers. The article also seems to suggest that Brad Pitt is kind of over his time in front of the camera, but he stated that he will continue to create, whether it be by producing, music, or any of his other artistic passions. Let me find out Brad Pitt is a musician. Like, what kind of music would he create? You know, he looks like more of a folk music, blues music type of guy to me. I mean, I see a little bit of rock and roll, but that's just a bit. Do you guys think it's time for Brad Pitt to hang up his acting reins? I don't think so, but I do understand someone wanting to explore other creative avenues. I think Brad Pitt still has some movies in the can, so I don't think we will see him retiring anytime soon. So, did you guys know that Amazon is having a secret sale on designer clothing and accessories right now? Well, an L article has uncovered a cheat code to discounted designer goods on Amazon. Called the Premium Page Outlet, it's a page on Amazon that has more than 800 designer markdowns, up to 64% off, in a range of categories. You can sort by brand and style. Plus, you can even have the option to filter items that fall under Amazon's Try Before You Buy program, so you can feel fully confident before making a purchase. It's nice finding these things. It's like when you find cash on the ground. You gotta pinch pennies any way you can. I'm a high-low type of girl. I like to have a few things that I can wear that are very expensive and a few things that are inexpensive. So check it out. It's always nice when you can get a deal on designer stuff. You know what I'm saying? I went to this Amazon page and they have all kinds of things there. So if you get a chance, go check it out sometime. Well, that's all I got for you guys. If you would like to receive text notifications when I post News on the Fly episodes or my celebrity red carpet interviews, please send a text to 917-502-4379 and say, I want to get fly text. 
Once subscribed, you will start receiving text messages regarding a news on the fly episode or celebrity interview. Also, if you have a business product, service, YouTube channel, or social media account that you would like for me to promote on my channel, please email redcarpetfly at alexi at redcarpetfly.com to get rates for advertising. Lastly, please like, follow, subscribe, and share our YouTube channel, Red Carpet Fly, and also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Red Carpet Fly. And until tomorrow, always stay fly.